Okay, so I'm just going to mention a point in relation to an experience I had today at work, which I described in another video, so I'll probably link the two videos together. So basically I started out this morning getting up to go to work to do some snow shoveling. And uh, it's quite an interesting experience actually because I found within doing the physical actions that I became aggravated. Um, and I've actually experienced this point before where within doing physical labor I will like access an energetic frequency and then within that start to generate and participate with specific thoughts um, generally in relation to anger and frustration even where I would then have pictures and thoughts come up of other people you know in different circumstances and situations in my world where I'm you know angry at someone or speaking you know in a confrontation with someone and I find that this occasionally comes up when I'm doing physical labor and I mean I can see also the point of this being a result of not being here as myself in breath where I'm simply moving and directing myself within the task, but rather am overextending myself from a certain perspective and trying to do more than that is possible in the moment and trying to rush through something. What I'm seeing now as being an aspect or part of that reaction and experience that I had earlier today. Um, so the point that I saw was that Um, I had this reaction come up within me where I then went into a form of rushing, trying to rush. Basically, what it is is that I'm not here in the moment, so there's some reaction or reason why I leave myself here within the moment, within directing myself in each breath, within stability, um, within slowing down, within just being here. And I go into this form of rushing and needing to get something finished and needing to extend myself as far as possible to get this done as quick as possible, which was my experience at work. Um, also, another point within that experience that I didn't mention then, which I see was a part of it, was an experience of downness, which you could also see as a form of depression. And it's like an energy where it's like you feel like down and depressed and kind of low. And, um, and these points in relation to kind of where I'm seeing myself in my world at that moment and how I'm experiencing myself within my world, though, also seeing that the world in terms of where or what I'm experiencing myself in relation to is a perception that I've created. <coughs> Um, okay, so, okay, yeah, so now exploring this point. Um, so what I observed was the following. Essentially, I allowed this reaction to take place. Um, and I allowed this reaction to take place and I gave permission for this reaction to take place in a way in my actions the previous week and because I wasn't directing myself effectively that the outflow was here I am faced with a situation where in that moment I realized oh crap this job that I'm doing now instead of taking me 15 minutes, is going to take me an hour and a half. <clears throat> so there's this situation that comes up, and I go into this reaction. Instead of, if having directed myself effectively within the previous week, faced with the same situation, no reaction, um, and this is specifically in relation to money, and my direction in relation to money, because what I found was that 
I will, I still have a tendency to sort of let go a little bit um, or give in in terms of uh, my establishing uh, more consistent application within directing myself from the point of generating money, meaning, okay, I get a few contracts, you know, I have a few, I send out a few resumes, all right, that's enough kind of thing. But what I see is that the my actual participation within my world is still in such a way where I'm essentially allowing these points of fear of not having money, of not getting money in, to still exist within me because my actions are not yet effective to the point where I can trust myself that I'm effectively directing myself in my days that I will have an effective income. So it's basically seeing that point of um, not directing myself in such a way where I'm still allowing myself to exist in such a situation where I'm, for example, dependent on getting a client, you know, and that dependency comes up in the form of a reaction I actually have if the client says, no, thank you, I'm not going to do this right now. And I feel like let down or like, oh, crap, you know, what's going to happen now? That should not come up, meaning my direction within my world should be effective in terms of, you know, my daily activities where I'm taking on the point of getting an income generation, getting an effective income. Therefore, basically directing myself into a point of self-trust until I'm existing within that self-trust so that no matter if a client says no thank you or yes, it doesn't matter because I know within myself that I'm going to, and I'm in the process of ensuring that the points are effectively directed so that I get an income. So this is the point I observed uh, today was my reaction I had was because I was in a way still letting myself be dependent on other people and be sort of placed within a situation where I'm at the whim of the system because that's how I experienced myself instead of sort of transforming myself through consistency and consistent application to no longer accept and allow myself to exist within that sort of experience of self in relation to the system but rather within my daily activities and daily actions I place myself in a situation where I'm no longer in at the whim of the system but I'm directing myself equal to the system um, so I s see still that I have a tendency to once I you know do some points of directing myself effectively to kind of give in and go back to kind of just doing just enough to get by, you know, and kind of waiting or hoping. As long as that point of waiting of hope enters the equation, then I know I'm not directing myself effectively. 